Hey, 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 my name is Polish Lynch. Welcome to Sunrider Academy. And we are on Chigara's route. In case you don't know, in case you are new here. So, yeah, okay, we have Murray's birthday. I have already the present. We have Sweet Meat. We have Science Exhibition. Let's get things done. Then we have Second Term, Recruitment, and so on. So, yeah, let's go through it. Mary poke her head through my door. Hi, Keita. Yeah. <laughs> Your girlfriend's at the door. Really? Hi. Mary, let me in. Oh, Chigara. Well, that was surprising. I mean, like, Mary, let me in. That, that, that's, that sounds weird. <laughs> Not bad, Keita. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's good. Mari nudged me in the ribs. Looks like you managed to snack a good one. Mm. I so want to say it's not true. Oh my god, Lynx, hold back your thoughts right now, please. Shut up. Mari walked away, blowing raspberries at me. Don't mind her. It's okay. So what brings you here? Uh, nothing much. I just want to be with Kato, that's all. Uh, oh really? <laughs> I rubbed the back of my head, feeling fluttered. Uh, and I wanted to show this. She pulled out a gadget from her bag. I rebuilt the matter teleporter from scratch and it seems to be functioning much better now. That's good to hear. I felt bad when it broke last time. No, it turned out being a blessing in disguise, as the new version seems to have fixed the problem. Even though I have no idea how, because I built it using the exact same specs. <laughs> somehow that was worrying, and somehow that wasn't interesting at all. M maybe I forgot to add in a ball somewhere in the old design. She stuck a metal cube into the input tape tube. See, it's working perfect now. She switched a lever and the machine hummed and glowed neon blue. The steel cube then rematerialized out the machine's rear and clattered onto the floor. Amazing. Now the next step will be the translocation of bigger and more complicated objects. I hope to be able to begin testing with some lab mice in a few months. Shigara is sure amazing, huh? She dropped more cubes into the teleporter. It can even translocate multiple cubes now. She once again pulled the lever and the machine hummed. So Nichigara's uniform started going too. Eh? 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 Sensor! 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 Woohoohoohoo! All of the clothes dematerialized and rematerialized at the rear of the teleporter. For there is not much to look at, to be honest. <sighs> I sighed in relief after Chigara managed to put her clothes back on. And no, actually, you know what? I can actually tell about this. Uh, eh? All the clothes materialized, the materialized, and rematerialized at the rear of the teleporter. Eh? She got screamed and covered herself. Oh! I covered my eyes and fall backwards in shock. My door burst open. Kato, what? Marie's eyes nearly popped from her skull. Ha! Haba! It was as if she was trying to scream, but she was too shocked nothing was coming out. All she could do was croak hoarsely. Get out, Murray! This is a science experiment gone horribly every. I grabbed Chigara's clothes from the teleporter. This little machine did nothing but cause trouble. Clearly, this was this galaxy, the galaxy's way of saying that it was not ready for such a device yet. I sat in relief after Chigara managed to put her clothes back on. Mary was passed out from shock and lying on my bed. Good thing this happened while my parents were at work. I covered over Mary. She appeared to be fine. She looks alright. I guess she was just spooked. <laughs> I hoisted Mary up. Yeah, she was spooked that she's so much younger and probably so much bigger. I'll be back, then let me just put her in her bed. I tucked Mary into her bed and returned to my room, but not that that matters, to be honest. I just don't like Chigara, that's all there is to it, okay? 
Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scream so loud. Eh, no, don't, don't, don't worry. Besides, if a crazy guard had dematerialized all the clothes of my back, I'd be screaming like a headless chicken too. <laughs> no, screaming at such a trivial thing. Did, 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 did you see? No. No. Of course not. You saw me cover my eyes and fall backwards. Okay, so maybe that was a lie. I also quite a bit sorry, Trigara. <sighs> then... The mosquito want to see? Eh. What kind of question was that? I'm sorry. I acted as if it was a total stranger. I shouldn't have screamed like that. Besides, if it's kikikikikikita, I don't mind. Chigar. And this is when the censorship appears, and probably this will lead to things getting really erotic, so you will, won't see that, sorry. And it's done. <laughs> then please take good care of me, and please keep this a secret between us, okay? Yeah, I'd rather people n not know about what happened, you know. Oh my, oh my! Kaito stirred at himself so much! Shigara grabbed a few tissues and wiped my uniform off. Do you need me to do the laundry? Uh, nah, I, I can take care of it. Are you sure? Yeah, I will just wear my spare tomorrow. Speaking of that, are you going to be alright with your panties? Want me to sneak you one of my sisters? Oh no, it's already nearly dry! I'll just change once I'm home. She stood up. I better leave before your sister wakes up. Uh, okay. Then, I'll be in your care from now. She did a little bow in front of me. No problem. I rubbed my head and laughed. I see you. S see you. She tiptoed out of the apartment. Well, well, that was quite a visit. I looked down at my uniform. Laundry, laundry. Laundry! But before that, let's pray, let's pray! That's right, praying is important! What's with the weird voice now? <laughs> swimming, because the swim meet is going soon and council. Okay. And. Wait a second. Wait a second! Now, this is something important. No homework. Woo! Woo! That was close! Swim meet side deck, okay. Exercise, dude. Stress 15, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay. Mary Poker had my door and eyed me suspiciously while I was sitting at my desk. Kato! What? Hmm. Are you sure nothing happened the last time your girlfriend was here? So, like, six hours ago? Yeah. Mary crept up to me. I still don't remember how I passed out. I don't know, you just said you suddenly felt lightheaded and then POOF! Something like that's never happened to me before! You're hiding something, aren't you? Just admit it! You did your girlfriend while I was sleeping, didn't you? I thought I saw your new uniform in the laundry! My, aren't you pesky? By now, Mari had her hands on my shoulders and was nearly pushing my seat backwards. Kaito! Don't try to hide things from your sister! Mari rocked my chair, almost sending me to the floor. Eh, Mari! My Mari hit my chair over and flattened me on the floor. Uh, she grabbed onto my, onto me by the scruff of my neck. Confess your sins! I wasn't about to be beat up by my little sister. I overpowered her and stood up. Mari wrapped herself around me and clung onto me. Here! Let's go! NEVER! Oh shit. I lost my balance and we tumbled onto my bed. My gut was crushed by my little sister's ass for the second time in a minute. Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, alright. Wait a second. <laughs> that reaction before suggested something that I don't... I don't find 
acceptable between sister and brother. Jeez, we did it, all right. Ah, really, all the way. Uh, well, not exactly, not, not exactly all the way. Okay, so you guys only made out or something? Uh, well, a little more than that, yeah, dork. Deep kiss. I eyed Mari. Do I spoil my little sister purity with the lurid details of an adult relationship? Please, she's reading PL manga. Really, you think she's not able to handle that? Well, she wasn't able to handle handle the uh, the view she's seen. Okay, but I'm sure she was so blowjobs all the time in those hardcore village PL she reads anyways. Okay. Ah, uh, you mean that? <laughs> you had better not tell anyone. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. To think Kate actually had the guts to make a girl to do that to him! Mari slapped me on the back. Not bad! Your sisters give you an 8 out of 10! Eh. 8 out of 10? The hell was that? For reference, you had a 10, 4 out of 10 at the beginning of the year. Well, that was good to know. I fell to bed and quickly went to sleep, as always. Alright, let's go because... <laughs> it's 12 minutes! <laughs> and we only managed to go through one day. God damn it! <laughs> okay, now... Now let's go with this, because I, I really feel like we need to... To speed things up! Speed things up, okay? I really need to speed things up this month. Again? Murray, you're visiting quite often, don't you? What hap- what- Oh, that's the reason, got it. Oh boy. Mekto, you better not have forgotten. Oh, don't worry, I remember to record the latest episode of Star Rider. I don't mean that, you dummy. I sighed and reached under my bed. I carefully extracted the PL manga and delivered it to my sister as if it was a biohazard. Oh, it's- it's Sadik's charm! I was looking forward to this! Thanks, Kato! I shuddered at my sister's glee. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, don't tell anyone about this, alright? Don't worry, I will keep my mouth shut! Mary Glyph will left my room grinning ear to ear as I hid myself underneath the covers. Did I just provide my sister with her fab material for tonight? Yes, for the fourth time. No, for the third time actually, once I forgot to... <laughs> oh yes, I'm, uh, I'm a terrible person, I'm a terrible person, once I forgot about my sister's birthday in the game, okay? Ah, what the hell have I done? I leaped out of bed and went outside before I needed a barf back. Because... And then I went to pray to the Ruvian gods. And they approved of my of my present for my little sister. And then reported the progress and exercise and I think my stress level is low. Which is great. And then again I went to pray. And once again. And after that of oh, I keep choosing the wrong club. And student council. And exercise because we need this we need to be prepared you know next month well not really next month but soon very soon we really will need all the stats very high I believe almost well 268 six, 660 295 120 okay we can do this we are going to crush that compact spy <laughs> ah what a wonderful day
I wonder if anything could actually happen in the meantime. Like, you know, random event. I get three primate launches, okay. Uh, no, 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 this one. Actually, I want to check something. Alright, so this is for the class for readiness, but readiness is fine to win everything. I have gifts, but the gifts are not needed because I already... Let me show you this. Uh, or you see, affection is maxed out for every girl. Because we basically skipped it. In case you didn't know, common route. Skipped common route because I I got through the common route on my first attempt to the game. And after that, there was an option to, that I would allow to skip it. And yeah, I decided, sure, let's do it that way. And after that, we are just continuing with the arcs. And I'm just explaining this to you if you are watching this episode as, as the first episode on me on my series. Swim meat, okay. But let's pray first. Wait. Uh, there is something else I should ch buy charms. But I think I don't need them. I mean, let's wait. Encounter charm, retry charm, mineral, mineral. I don't need them. Alright, swim meat. Gold medal, gold medal, yeah. So we are left with science exhibition now. Exercise, exercise! Uh, pray. Fifth week, first day. Uh, okay, still no school. Oh! You are maxed out already. Okay, so let's go here. And here. For from time to time I actually should pay a visit to the science club now. Because it might trigger actually some events. Sure, let's do this. It didn't work. No need to think about it. My birthday. Wait a second. Maybe this time the birthday will be some kind of a replay from the pure day. Should I? Should I expect something like that again? Not really, probably. We'll see about it. You know, I think, I think actually after finishing the uh, the Chigara sword, which will be the last one actually for... Wait, what? What speed break? It's still vacation, man. Uh, what was I? Oh, yeah, after finishing Chigara sword, which is the last one here, I think I will repeat Ava's sword for, for myself later on. And try some different choices if this will affect it. Because I'm gonna say it here. From all the characters in Sunrider Academy, Ava is my favorite. And and that's all there is to it. And if I had to repeat the roots, I would go with hers. Because I wonder. If, because, well, I'm repeating myself, right? Right now, I think. Because I wonder if anything would be different and so on. Yeah. Well, I guess we will start the next month as well in this episode then. And that's how it looks after all, because nothing appears when it comes to events or anything. And probably, once we start the next month, they will drop so many events again that I won't be able to end the episode. Well, that will just lead to this episode being a bit longer. That's all there is to it.
All right, last day of of fifth month and basically last day of vacation as well. So report progress and exercise. Summer vacation is over. Back to school again and do homework. He said in the student council room as Ava outlined the student council's goals for this term. After a lengthy presentation replete with graphs, tables and walls of tiny text, the meeting was fi finally concluded. The other members of the student council limped out of the room exhausted. I wonder if anyone aside from Ava even understood anything she just said. What's that look for? Nothing much. You know, Press, are you sure not overdoing it? Huh? Overdoing it? Yeah. People aren't as energetic as they were first term. Honestly, we were expecting you to mellow out a bit. You know, kind of adopt a life and let die approach. You can't micromanage people forever, you know. Let the good people here figure things out on their own initiative. <sighs> I can't afford to stack off like normal people, okay, duh? We promised way too many things during the campaign and we fulfilled maybe 10% of it. Despite that, there's no just four months left in the school year. This is a time when we have to start working four times harder than before. It's our duty to the student body. F -f 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 four times harder. Surely you just you just press. I did not sign up for this level of suffering. Eh. Uh, what's the matter? We are not a step closer to changing our uniforms either. You wanted the two, didn't you? Well, I did, but honestly, I think it's a lost cause. And the student body probably agrees too. As long as everyone's having fun, I don't see the problem here, Press. Ah, <sighs> you always say that. Anyways, the second term's going to be even harder for the trouble clubs. You are just facing local schools in competition so far. Soon, the national qualifiers will begin. I hope you're ready for what comes, Kato, for your sake! Yeah, I'm ready. No worries. Look at this. Race morale. And boom! I'm done here. And now I have to... Actually, okay. Okay. New month, new week. So... Let's give it a shot. I enter the science lab and of course triggered a new event. Excuse me? Hello? Looks like I was early. So far Chigar was the only person here. <laughs> Kato! She hop uh, hopped off her stool and came over to hug me. Uh, yo, I have returned. Let's make this term even better than the last one, alright? Yes! <laughs> Speaking of which, I work on the matter teleporter. Moreover, the vacation! Oh my god, please don't use it now. Please stop. Uh, just the mere mention of the device now made me jittery. She pointed to the lab table where the device was sitting. It was now upgraded with a new set of a huge of huge cylinders at the top. This new stabilizer just resolved the targeting misalignment. Now all I have to do is test it. Uh, maybe we should. Too late. She pulled the lever and the machine hummed to life. The cylinders started shaking and vibrating as if they were about to pop off. Oh, it seems to be working! So the machine emitted an more slash, bleaching the room white. And as expected, someone is naked, right? Ah, my eyes, my eyes! Uh, did something go wrong again, my eyes? I rolled my eyes as my vision slowly returned. All of a sudden, I could feel a certain breeze going through my legs. Oh my god! It's not you who are naked, right? I am naked, right? I'm correct about this, right? Where are my pants? I looked down and saw my undercarriage dangling below me without a care in the world. Uh, I was standing stark naked in the middle of the lap. <coughs> I gasped and covered myself with my hands. No way, but, 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 but the stabilizers! Just then the lap doors slid open and more members came in. Uh, oh, she got around over to the counter and threw the camouflage cloak over us. We knelt down and took over under the table, lap table. My heart pounded as I saw the club members walk by, just inches from my shiny butt. <laughs> Shigar's not here! That's strange! I had to come this way. 
we crept over to the supporter device. She got stuck her arm out of the cloak and grabbed my clothes while nobody was looking. And did you just hear something? I hastily put my clothes back on under the cloak. The club members were coming this way. Oh shit. Ah, oh, goddammit, I put my pants on backwards. Why did my shirt suddenly have so many buttons? My fingers trembled and fumbled as I buttoned my shirt up in a panic. They were just inches from us now. <laughs> she got jumped out of the cloak. <gasps> oh. oh! Were you testing out the cloak again, Press? You sure surprised us! Yeah! <laughs> she got pretended to be holding the cloak in her hand. She fake folded the cloak back up and put it on the counter. It looks like there's some, there are some more glitches left. Using Chigara's feint, I managed to finish putting my uniform back on. I walked back out the door and opened the closet, opened and opened and closed again as I threw the cloak off. Hey everyone, my name is Kato. I present to walk through the door. Oh, Kato! I'm back for another term. Let's try hard this time too. <laughs> yeah, let's try our best! We laughed awkwardly, the only two people who knew that I had just fully exposed myself in front of the members of the science club without anyone noticing. Science was truly a terrifying thing. Wow. Simply wow. I have no idea what to say about it. <sighs> Oh my god, oh, I told you, we'll begin new month and the freaking day these events will pop up out of nowhere again. <sighs> Alright, I saw Chigara waiting for me in the courtyard. <laughs> I'm sorry for causing trouble again! Oh, uh, well, well, looks like nobody noticed I was butt naked. Seriously, that invisibility cloak sure is useful. Imagine the kind of trouble you could get into with it. Yeah. Sometimes the implications of some of my creations frighten me as well. <clears throat> All the more reason why I must leave the sciences and start a bakery instead. Well, I for one am definitely not ready for the clothing remover device. I know, it's, it's called the Mater Teleporter, Kato! Lately, it doesn't seem to be doing anything but causing trouble. Mm. Oi! Asaga showed up. I see you two lovebirds sure have been chummy lately. What are you doing? Whispering secrets under the tree? No, dummy. Oh, you're looking defensive! What did something good happen during vacation? The summer is sure hot, eh? You gotta release the pent up energy somehow! <laughs> I did a sweet walk to Asaga's head. Idiot. What are you saying? Uh, hey, I was just trying to help. We don't need that kind of help. Uh, no, please don't be mean to Asaga! <sighs> Asaga, you never change, do you? Hey! I don't need that kind of help, could you mean? Kato, you've already... You never learn. You never learn! I got ready to deliver another pump to Asaga. She covered her head with her arms and leaped back. Chigara! Don't tell me! Asaga boosted around Chigara. Chigara eyed nervously as if Asaga was a bee circling around... A circ bee circling her head. So, how far have you guys gone? <laughs> it's secret! <gasps> but, but, but I thought we were friends! But it's everything! Gah! Yeah, don't tell me! You guys have done it already! Well... We are lovers after all, aren't we? No way! Asaga staggered backwards and clutched her chest as if she had been shot. You got me good, Chigara! You know, my imaginations. I never could have thought you'd beat me to it. Asaga bit the sleeve of her coat and pulled on it. 
<laughs> I'm too jealous. Dumbass. B. Kaito Jerk. Well, actually, Asanga was the first one because <laughs> she was my second choice when it comes to roots. So you were before her. All my life, I thought I was the one who's going to experience a lovey, lovey in the relationship first. I have failed. It is now clear to me. I must go to the mountains and begin my training. To train? What? You don't need to train to get a boyfriend. I had no idea what Asago was talking about. I'll return from the mountains a better and stronger woman. I have no time to waste. Farewell. Okay. Asaga ran off as quickly as she appeared. What was that about? Asaga does this from time to time. Whenever she needs to accomplish something big, she hides up the mountain and prays to a monolith at the peak. She says the mountain air and the exercise helps clear her mind. Really? Well, I guess I understand. Seriously, she's overdoing it for. Asaka always has been the more affront one. I guess she thought she'd be the one who'd get into a relationship first. Now that this had happened, has happened, maybe she thinks she's been left behind. That idiot. Just because we're in a relationship doesn't mean that we're going to treat her any differently. I'll give her a talking to once she comes back from the mountains. Okay, please do. Uh, what? But why? 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 What? Why? What? Alright, let's end this week. Please. No events popping out again this week. Please. I... I I'm asking nicely. Please. Can you do this for me, game, please? No random events out of nowhere. And, you know, I would very appreciate it because I think, I'm sure actually that I, I have a bit of a headache already because of having my headphones too long on the head and, you know, I would like to let my head rest a bit. Because I don't record, you know, one episode during today's day. One episode today, basically. Speaking more proper English. Uh, and I lost my thought again. God damn it. So, yeah. A few episodes in a row recording really the same game to have something prepared already for the future, okay? And, you know, if you spend a bit, well, a bit, a lot of time in front PC with your headphones on and with not really low volume, well, it's not very high, but still, uh, still does the job of, well, giving you a headache. Alright, pool almost there as well. I mean, swim team. And what I noticed is I stopped exercising. So let's end the episode with exercising and going to bed. And yeah, let's end it here. Next week, uh, next week in the next episode, obviously. What we have? Recruitment day, okay. My birthday, okay. Kendo tournament, that's fine. Then job day, so we'll spend time working, science exhibition, swim meet, exams and Tafa's birthday. Alright. Next episode will be... Well, if there will be no events appearing again, then we'll probably get through all four weeks. We'll see. For now, hope you enjoyed this episode and see you in the next one, tomorrow. Bye-bye.